a lot of people have asked me, what's the science behind the vagus nerve reset? It's my desire to explain that the best that I can with a caveat. The vagus nerve reset is founded upon the polyvagal theory by Dr. Stephen Porges. And when Dr. Porges is asked to explain the polyvagal theory, he often struggles to do so, self-admitted. So the guy that founded and discovered the science behind the polyvagal theory has a hard time explaining it. So this is me giving myself permission and asking you for grace in that this theory is difficult to understand for many of us. And I wanna talk first about why that is. And I'm going to give you an analogy that a rocket surgeon who works for NASA helped me understand the complexity and the nuance and why the polyvagal theory is A, so difficult to understand, B, why so many people reject it, and C, why it is so challenging to wrap our head and understanding around. Now, the analogy is this. Computers, the processing system is binary. It operates on ones and zeros. I'm not a computer person. I go to my sister for that. But what I understand about coding is it's ones and zeros. That's it. Now, that informs everything about our computers. When you go grocery shop, shop, when you go grocery shopping, when you fill up gas, when you use your phone, calling, texting, when you use your computer, everything is based on ones and zeros. And now imagine something happens that comes along and says, you know what? There's actually a negative one. Oh, nobody's going to want to hear about that because can you imagine the havoc that that would wreak on every single system that uses technology that you encounter every single day, how your car works, getting groceries, your phone, your computer, everything. Oh my God, it's not binary. There's a third number. I think that's why polyvagal theory is so challenging for so many people, myself included, to understand and explain well, is because we're all taught that our autonomic nervous system is binary, fight or flight, rest and digest, sympathetic, parasympathetic, gas, break, Whoa, what polyvagal theory and Dr. Stephen Porges are talking about here is that, yes, there's a gas, yes, there's a break, but you know what? There's another way that the break works, right? Ideally, historically, the way we're taught, gas break, sympathetic fight or flight, parasympathetic rest and digest. What polyvagal theory suggests, according to my understanding of its science, is that rest and digest, gas and break are like the the one and the zero, except there's a negative one over here and the vagus nerve can rest and digest or kill you slowly or quickly, depending on a whole bunch of circumstances, which is why this is such a big deal. So that's just a little background as to why the, the vagus nerve reset is so confusing and perplexing for so many people. And we all want to understand why does this work? And I think that it works because it's like we're reinterpreting this, this one, right? Minus one, one, which one is it? Is it, is the vagus nerve working in a way that's gonna like kill me or is it working in a way that is, promoting my health. Now, those are extremely exaggerated extremes, and it's a big, wide, long spectrum. If the vagus nerve is operating in its freeze mode, slowly over time, if the freeze mode is continued, it can erode your system's ability to be healthy. And so the idea behind the vagus nerve reset is it helps the vagus nerve move from that freeze mode into the social engagement mode.
right? So both of these are peaceful, quiet, still rest and digest. But if the system slows down too much over time, we're compromised in accessing the circuits of health, growth, and safety. And so the idea with the vagus nerve reset, one explanation, and I'll probably make another video that has more explanations and, and insights and perspectives around why it works, but it helps thaw the freeze and come back into the vagus that can be more engaged and connected with yourself, with another, and with the world at large. Please and thank you for your questions, your comments. I welcome challenge and I welcome argument because that's how we get to the heart of the matter. I don't love fighting, slander, judgment, critical name, blame, all the things. So, you know, if you say those things, it's just not going to land for me. So if you want a lovely engagement and dialogue and question and challenge, please bring those and we'll see you next time.